set, we refer to how people talk about ability, talent, intelligence, and how they learn and react to learning opportunities and challenges they encounter. There are two different types of mindsets. One is growth mindset and one is fixed mindset. So what are growth mindset and fixed mindset? With fixed mindset, when you view ability, you think that ability and talent or intelligence is unchangeable. It's definitely fixed. So you think that you ha are born with this talent or ability or this intelligence and no matter what you do, it's never going to get better. It's never going to improve. No matter how much hard work or effort you put into it, that is it. It is stuck. You're born talented with ability or you're not. Okay, so that's fixed mindset. But in growth mindset, we believe that um, ability can be improved on, um, talent can be developed with dedication and time and hard work and effort, you're going to get better. So it's that you have a starting point in your life, but the more that you try, um, the more challenges you face, the more problems that you solve, the more mistakes that you make, then you learn from all of this and you slowly over time get better. And this makes sense because if we think about even like professional artists or star athletes, they all started where, um, you know, in, in school. They all started in school, but through hard work and through dedication and through time and effort and getting up for practices, working constantly. And even if they're professional, they're still working on it. It doesn't just stop. You don't just go and get into the NBA and be like, well, I'm done guys. You don't get into an art gallery and be like, done, don't have to try anymore. I got this. People who are successful are successful because they have put in time and effort and hard work. They are accepting of mistakes and accepting of failures and they have growth mindset because they know that those mistakes and those failures are going to help them. They're going to help them succeed and be successful and they will get better because they just haven't mastered everything yet. Speaking of mistakes, well, with fixed mindset, people who um, have fixed mindset view mistakes and failures as final, finished, permanent. It means that mistakes or failures happen. They cannot move from that. They just give up. They don't even bother trying anymore. That is fixed mindset. However, with growth mindset, um, people with growth mindset, they believe that mistakes and failures are opportunities that help them and teach them. They help them learn. They learn from their mistakes. People don't just say you learn from your mistakes for no reason. No, learn from your mistake. What went wrong? Why did it fail? Why didn't this work? Start asking those questions. Why? How come? How can I make this better? What will I change to make it work? What can I do differently? Okay, growth mindset. You change the way you're thinking and then success starts coming. No matter what it is, it could be any subject in school. It could be anything in your life. It could be a sports team. It could be art. It could be gym. It could be math. If you have growth mindset, you can make things happen. When you have a fixed mindset, um, you believe that hard work will never help you get better. You will never help you, so why bother even trying? When you have a growth mindset, you view a hard work um, and effort as something that helps you uh, get better and improve on your skills. So if, for example, you think that art is your weak weakest um, class or your weakest subject, you weren't born with that ability, you weren't born with that talent, as people often say, I don't believe that ever. I believe that you put in hard work um, and you try that you're going to get better no matter what. I once told myself that um, I can't draw, therefore why bother? Why bother? I only sculpt. I'm only a sculptor. I only do clay. I'm not going to bother drawing because I'm not really good at it. This was not the case. I actually can draw um, and I learned to get better at drawing and still get better at drawing through drawing itself. Mm -hmm. It's true. So 
take the hard work and effort, um, put it in and help you grow. If you think about it, I never ever knew anything about YouTube. My early videos are not going to be as good as my later videos because uh, through creating videos, I'm learning, I'm making mistakes. I recognize that it's difficult. I recognize it's an extreme challenge for me. I recognize that I'm not going to create perfect videos, but that's not going to prevent me from making videos at all. It's going to inspire me. I'm going to tell myself that through hard work and dedication, I'm going to eventually get better at making YouTube videos. It has to happen because I keep doing it over and over again. So if there's a subject that you're weak at in school, get on it and start working very hard at it. Even though it makes you stressed out, anxiety, take your deep breaths, go into a mindful place, tell yourself, I can't do it yet. But if I try and I practice every day, I'm going to get better if I put in that hard work. People with fixed mindset often choose easy challenges so that way they accomplish it and they can tell themselves, yep, I got it, I did it, done. But people with growth mindset often choose more difficult things because they see this as a journey or as an adventure and yeah, it's gonna take a long time and hard work to get where they wanna go but in the long run, they're gonna be farther ahead than that person with the fixed mindset. People with a fixed mindset often give up or don't try at all. I mean, why bother if you're not good at it? But with growth mindset, they um, accept challenges and opportunities um, and see them as an as a opportunity to get better, um, a chance to experiment, make mistakes, and learn. If you have a fixed mindset, you often see obstacles um, as a place where you stop and you completely give up. Again, why try? You can't do it. Right? It's that whole can't thinking. But if you have a growth mindset, you say, I can't do it yet, or I can do it if I put in the hard work, if I can do it if I'm determined, I can do it if I put in effort and time. And they view those obstacles as challenges and opportunities to experiment. And through that experimentation, again, magic happens, people. If you have a fixed mindset, you are not willing usually to be creative because being creative means that you're taking risks and often you're experimenting and always, that always leads to making mistakes and then you might just quit. Again, people with fixed mindset try, just don't even try. They don't try anything at school. Sometimes they get to a class that they don't like because they don't think that they're good at it and then they just don't try that lesson. They just sit there and just do nothing, okay? That's fixed mindset. People with growth mindset um, are willing to be creative. They're willing to take that risk, that creative risk. They're willing to make a mistake. They're willing to accept a challenge, no matter what. They're willing to do something that is difficult for them. There's always something for every single person out there that is difficult for them. For me, it is sports. I can't play soccer yet. Like actually, I have never played soccer in my life. But if I try, I'm sure that I'm gonna get better and it might be that I can actually kick a ball, okay? But I won't, I can't right now because I've never tried it. So how could I expect myself to be able to do soccer? Just because my friend is really good at soccer doesn't mean that she was like born with a talent. I mean, maybe she was born and you know inclined in doing soccer and is and but she practiced a whole lot to be able to do that. Just as I've practiced making art a whole lot, and that's why I am okay at making art. It's because I practiced it literally every day. That's why. It's just it wasn't born like this. We were all born the same beautiful little babies. We just practice things differently as, as we get older, but we're all lifelong learners, people. Even adults make mistakes and learn. Even professionals make mistakes and learn. Teachers make mistakes and learn. Students, kids, teenagers, university students make mistakes and learn. That is what school's about. It's about taking that risk. It's about going to class and be like, whoa, this is hard. Yeah, because hard things make us learn because your brain 
is a muscle and that muscle in order to get stronger it needs to work hard just like any other muscle in the rest of our body you need to work it and you will get better and that's the beautiful thing about growth mindset start your growth mindset journey it's a refreshing experience and it will allow you to try new things that you never thought you would try before of course you can't experience anything unless you try so um, get out there, go to class, go outside, go to sports team, go to club, and try. That's all you have to do is just try. And do things that you uh, find challenging. Remember, they are opportunities to allow your brain and your, your body and your abilities to grow. If you put in that hard work and you're determined, if you make mistakes, because remember, mistakes help us learn, and if you change the way you think, you can, you can improve. You can't literally do everything yet, right? But if you continue to practice, it's going to become easier and you're going to get better. I want to know how you use growth mindset or if there's anything in this video that really resonated with you and that you would like to try in your own life. If you have a reflection, please just chat down in the comment section below the video and we can have a really great discussion together. I will, of course, reply to all your comments and leaving a comment also allows you the opportunity to potentially be the comment star in a future video of mine. Like this video and click the bell to um, receive notifications when new episodes arrive as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this Artastic channel and become a part of Artastic Nation. Uh, other ways to get behind the, scene foot behind the scene footage is by following me on Instagram at Ms. Artastic, as well as you can find art resources and art tutorials um, for art teachers on my Teachers Pay Teacher store, um, just by simply typing in Ms. Artastic on the search bar on TPT, and you will find lots of my stuff there. Or if you just wanted to go to a general kind of launch place or resting place or I don't know, linkable place with lots of cool posts, just go to my blog. I mean, www.mizartastic.com. Anyway, I'll see you uh, next time. Have a great day.